So today's arm pump brought to you by Bread Top. Welcome to another video. So, a little bit of a vlog video for you guys today. Um, it's currently Wednesday, 24th of May, and it is 7.45 a.m. So, obviously, uh, being a personal trainer, we started our day a little bit earlier. It was uh, 5.30 this morning, um, and had our first client at 6 a.m. So, been here a little while, but uh, didn't want to bore you with that kind of stuff, guys. Um, so, I thought I would start the video here. So, as you can see behind me, a bit of a crappy day here today in Adelaide, but uh, life goes on. So, today, Wednesdays, usually clients till about 10.30, 11 o'clock. Um, I do some online work, and it's usually a rest day for me in terms of gym, but uh, I'm going to do a sneaky bicep and tricep workout. So, I'll take you guys along. I'll show you what I do in terms of that. Um, I've been neglecting my arms a bit lately, so yeah, I thought I'd uh, hit them up today. A couple of other things I've got to get done. I've got to get a haircut as I'm flying out to Brisbane tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to catching up with a few of my uh, mates up there. I will get some footage for you guys in terms of training, plenty of food. Um, I'm hanging out with my brother, so this is part of his birthday present. Um, so yeah, I thought we'd uh, spend a bit of quality time together. And uh, other than that, let the day begin and that is it for the morning we are done so it's currently what time is it quarter to 11. there you go personalized clock so it's quarter to 11. um like i just mentioned we've uh finished up with our clients for the morning so we'll uh head over grab a coffee protein bar stock standard and some bread top and then uh we'll go from there but i will check in with you guys with that delicious, delicious red top. Fill me up with your smile Now the sunshine brings the light Fill me up with a flame I will let you in this game different so I've got a full pork donut and the usual custard bun. I'm gonna get this down and I'll uh, see you guys soon. Just got done at our coffee meeting, everyday coffee meeting, and uh, now I'm just heading back to the car. I'll drive to the gym, and like I said, I will uh, get a bit of an arm session in. So I'll show you guys uh, obviously what that will consist of. I'll check in with you guys at the gym.
So bringing you another voice over here. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, Wednesdays is usually my rest day, but uh, I like going in and uh, hitting a bit of weight. So arms are something that I don't really uh, train anymore, especially by themselves. Uh, I might throw them in here and there on uh, my upper days, but I decided to give them a little bit of a pump today. So as you can see, I'm just warming up on the cables, cable curl and uh, cable push down. So just making sure that we uh, get plenty of blood inside the muscle, making sure that it's ready to work and uh, ready for the increase of load. So as you can see, I really focus on squeezing at the top of the movement and then taking the weight all the way back down, full range, stretching as much as we can and uh, taking it through that full range of movement. So warm up sets, I usually go uh, anywhere between 15 to 20 reps. I'll do a couple of sets moving up in the weight until I find that working weight. And then I'll just usually stay on that weight for the uh, number of reps. So I don't pyramid, um, I used to, but now I, I uh, work on that progressive overload principle and I try and work with the weight one week and then increase the weight or the reps the week after. So same thing with the triceps, as you can see I'm pausing down the bottom making sure that I'm getting a full contraction of the triceps and uh, keeping those elbows by my side making sure I don't use any momentum or shoulders to push that weight down. So I did three sets of that cable as a working set and then I moved on to just uh, hammer strength preacher curl, so isolating. Same thing, really focusing on that squeeze. My hand grip's quite relaxed. I'm uh, making sure that I'm pulling with my bicep more than anything else. And then just going short of locking out. So I don't want to put any pressure through that joint. Um, so just short of locking out and then a big squeeze at the top. So my second go-to exercise uh, that day was a cable incline skull crusher. Haven't done this for quite a while, but I just thought I'd just mix it up and maybe give you guys some ideas in terms of uh, hitting different exercises. So as we all know, well if you don't know you will now, that uh, the beauty about doing cables is that there's tension all the way through the movement and uh, you don't need a super heavy weight because the tension is always there and it keeps that pressure on the muscle that we're working. So about 15 reps, three to four sets. So different angle for you guys, just trying to show you that uh, the elbow stays on the pad. We're really trying to focus on squeezing through that bicep. So I've taken a couple of angles of uh, every exercise that I did just to make sure that you can see in the form that I implement when I train my arms. Um, like I said, I try and work through the full range of movement and uh, the squeeze. So here's another angle of the skull crushes here. I'm trying to keep those elbows locked in and I'm trying to really focus on getting a big stretch at the uh, negative part of the movement. exercise in I've just gone the alternating hammer curl I think I went for three to four sets here of uh, 10 reps really making sure that I control that negative on the way down so we can stretch as much of that bicep out and Guys here, just really making sure I get a big squeeze at the top and then really controlling the negative part. I'm a big firm believer in not letting that elbow drop behind you when you uh, control the negative down because all I'm trying to do is really stretch that bicep.
So the next uh, exercise here for the triceps is uh, an isolateral. Um, the thing about this exercise is you really don't need a lot of weight because you're going to end up doing 30 reps all up. So basically what I'm doing is staying as close as I can to the cable. I do 10 reps with a big squeeze at the bottom. I take a step out, I do another 10 and then I take one more step out and I do another 10. So that's 30 reps all up. So it changes the angle of the tricep head that you're hitting and it uh, ends up being into a bit more of a kickback than a pull down by the third one. Um, definitely a big stinger this exercise. So give it a go and see what you think of it. As you can see here, I'm uh, giving myself a little bit of a hand to pull it down, but then I'm trying to control the uh, eccentric phase of the movement. All right, my next bicep exercise. So this one's a bit of a killer here. So I did three sets here. Basically on the first set, it's uh, three drop sets, 12 reps each. Just speed it up for you guys. So same thing, I look at trying to go full range, full extension, trying to get as much stretch through that bicep as I can to uh, make more room for new growth. As you can see, I've got a little bit of uh, body motion on the way up, but uh, I definitely make sure that I'm controlling that weight on the way down and uh, keeping those elbows locked in tight. exercise here is a decline um, dumbbell tricep extension so really uh, find that this exercise really fires the tricep heads and uh, definitely gives you a big burn and, and a good pump so I really find this a very beneficial exercise for my triceps so second set here of the barbell curls was performed a little bit differently so on this set what I've done is I've actually pyramided up from the lighter weight for 12 reps all the way to the heavier weight. So obviously the intensity is a lot greater in doing that and uh, that's why you'll see I use a little bit of body momentum on uh, especially the last weight which is 30 kilos. But like I said I'm still really focusing on controlling that negative and uh, getting that full stretch and full contraction of the muscle. Which I believe is uh, beneficial for optimal growth. All right, so here's uh, the different angle here for the decline tricep extension. As you can see, I'm still working on a stretch factor here as my arms are pulled back a little bit further behind me than normal and uh, I just find that it puts a little bit more pressure through the tricep, makes me work a little bit harder and uh, stimulates the heads a bit more. So today's arm pump brought to you by Bread Top. Definitely full of blood. Feels good. We just got done. Good arm session, so about 60 minutes worth buys and tries it was mainly just supersetting stuff so getting plenty of blood inside this is the muscle trying to stretch that fascia out as much as we can and hopefully make a little bit of growth happening so um on my way now pick up the wife we've uh totally forgot we have a doctor's appointment today so um what we're going to do is actually go get our bloods done going to make sure that uh Everything is 
running smoothly. So something that I haven't had done probably in about two years. So it'll definitely be interesting to see where we're at um, and uh, if we need to correct some stuff naturally and um, go from there. So that we're giving ourselves the, the, uh, the most uh, opportunity to, to grow lean tissue. So that should be interesting. Like I said, we'll just go down there, have a bit of a chat, and no doubt we'll have a blood test tomorrow morning fasted and then um yeah be good to see the results and see where we're at so that'll be in a couple of hours but now i'll just go uh, home grab a bit of lunch and then uh continue the rest of the day so i will see you guys in the kitchen two hours later all right guys just got home freshened up had a shower now i'm just going to make some lunch so for lunch i'm going to have some chicken breast korean style kebabs and I'm gonna make a cheese and ham a bit of a wrap in this and of course I'm gonna get those micros in get a big bowl of salad going so what I'll do is I'll make that up guys I'll show you the finished product starving though gotta feed them gains all right finished product just a stock standard homemade coleslaw with some franks and then I've got the chicken kebabs and I've got pita bread with ham and cheese and a couple of gherkins. I'll get this stuff down and then I'll uh, we'll make our way to the doctors and surprise, surprise, I'm running late again. But fast forward things. So I'll see you guys in... Alright. We have made it. And uh, surprisingly... We've made it on time. So just walking over to the clinic. Um, yeah, we've got our appointment now. And uh, I will let you guys know how we go. Wish me luck. Pretty quick visit, $120. I can't say that they've earned their money, but uh, had to be done. So like I thought, we'll go get a blood test tomorrow. And they should have the results early next week. So, uh, looking forward to seeing where I'm at and uh, if, if I can do anything naturally to improve my levels um, if they need to be. So now, from one place to another, I'm gonna rush over, and hopefully get a haircut, and then we uh, we go back to put a fit back to work. So, I will check in with you guys getting all dolled up. There's a bit of a lineup. Look at the mop. Let's see if we can do anything with it. Whew. Check it out, let's see what we've done. Yeah, no, nah, we didn't do anything. The, uh, they were booked out, so uh, we'll have to make an appointment for tomorrow. So I'll have to go one more day looking like a scrub. I'm used to that anyway. But uh, we've just come to our little uh, hideaway. Get another coffee. There she is, hard at work. Social media expert. Um, yeah, and then we'll uh, head back and get the rest of our clients done and uh, we'll head on home but I will check in with you guys before the night ends. Alright before we go, almond milk, another protein bar. I haven't tried this one out so we've got the low carb salted caramel. Not bad. Probably give it about a 7 out of 10. Quite chewy. It does have a bit of hint of caramel. Wouldn't say it's salted but 7 out of 10. We've just got home, just got done cooking dinner, so sitting down to a nice home cooked meal. Look at that hair, that's terrible. No wonder I was trying to get a haircut. But that's tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I'll show you what I'm having, guys. What I've got here is some potato, mixed vegetables, chicken legs, and I've just got a pita wrap with some cheese in there. 
the beauty of flexible dining. I always say, you know, you can uh, get bits and bobs, put them together, make them count, make them fit into your macros, and enjoy it. But I'm going to finish the vlog there, guys. Thank you very much once again for clicking on the video. If you haven't yet, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and be on the lookout for more videos. I will be vlogging my Brisbane trip over the next couple of days so there'll be uh, some workouts plenty of food and uh, plenty of laughs so thank you once again and I will see you guys soon so today's arm pump brought to you by